If you are using Stream Deck on a Mac, I would highly encourage you to get Keyboard Maestro set up. This is what that looks like. Basically, these are a series of macros, and these macros in Keyboard Maestro can become the action engine for your Stream Deck buttons. So instead of just relying on Stream Deck to configure things, for example, to open up a website here, and of course I can type in the URL here, that works, but there are a lot of actions where the complexity is high enough that it benefits you to have something like Keyboard Maestro. And so to do that, if I search for KM, if I search for KM link here, I can just drag this new button template on. This comes from a plugin, and then down below I can just select a macro. And so let me show you that plugin. If you come up to the preferences here for plugins, that KM link is the one I'm using. You can also come out to the Keyboard Maestro plugin site and just want you to know there's another Keyboard Maestro plugin. This first one, I haven't used it here or I'm not using it here, I should say. I actually tried both out and I can't remember my reason for it, but I know I chose KM link at the end of the day. And the primary reason I suggest that Keyboard Maestro become your macro engine for Stream Deck is this right here. If I search in here for Apple Script, I can of course find a plugin here. All right, so I can then open this in Stream Deck. Go ahead and open this up. Okay, you can see it installed. And so now over in the right-hand side for an action, should search for OSA. I can drag this on here. And then of course down below, I've got this little text box where I can type out some Apple script. And of course this works fine, but this is a tiny text box. It's all in the confines of the Stream Deck app. So there's nothing else beyond this. So why would I want to use that when instead I could use that keyboard maestro and I could add a new macro for this. And I can go ahead and create a new macro here in the global macro group. I'll call this test and then new action. Apple script is just one of many different actions that are built in. So I can drag on execute Apple script. All right, and now I can paste in a little simple script here. I can save that. And if I close out of this action here, this add action, sometimes it doesn't show right, but if I jump over to another macro and come back, I've got this nice syntax highlighting or coloring of the Apple script, so it's a bit easier to read. I also have some options here for what to do if something goes wrong or there's some results I want to look at. And then the next benefit here of Keyboard Maestro, I can come right up above here and hit run, and I'll test that out so I know it works. That way I know it's fully operational within Keyboard Maestro before I ever try to link it into a button. So I can come over to Stream Deck now, that new macro for KM Link. Up at the top, you can see the most recent modified macro. That's the test macro. Set that. And maybe I want to put some text on the button and I could change the icon. And then when I'm ready to test this, just go hit that button. And there you go. It works. So if you're not yet using Keyboard Maestro as a back end for some of your actions within Stream Deck, definitely encourage you to look at it. And for the most part, I think it's worthwhile to think of Stream Deck as just a series of buttons that wire into macros inside of Keyboard Maestro. And of course, there's nothing wrong with direct buttons in here, for example, to open up a website. But for anything more complex than that, especially if you want to run something like AppleScript, definitely worth the time to link out to a Keyboard Maestro macro.